Matt, we know that LinkedIn is the best place to be these days, professionally apply for a job, create content. So what tips you have for job seekers in terms of using LinkedIn to their pro, uh, to the maximum in terms of uh, searching for jobs or applying for jobs? Yeah, my first recommendation is to really take an objective look at your profile, try to with fresh eyes, try to look at it. Make sure that your profile pic looks the way that you want it to. It's one of the first things people mm -hmm. are going to see. You don't want to have a little tiny head, you know. You don't want to have a, a, a crop shot like that or or something. And you certainly don't want the the default, mm -hmm. you know, uh, empty profile pic. You know, yeah. it, people are going to see how much effort you put into it. So you have a good, high quality, re relatively recent headshot. Yes. Uh, the second is that the background behind you shouldn't be the default either. You've got some real estate to work with there. Yeah. Love to to say something about yourself, what you're into, the type of work experience you have. Mm -hmm. Something that uh, that that would be a great one as well. Yeah. I think inside of the about section, a lot of times we don't take advantage of the full real estate that we have there. I yes. think you have as many as like 2000 characters to work yes. with. And I'd love to see job seekers in particular, tell their story. What are you mm -hmm. all about? Tell me about your, your arc in your life, in your career. Yeah. Uh, give us a little bit of a sense of, of what you're all about again. And don't shy away from being an actual person on LinkedIn. You don't want to yeah. look just like a resume, an empty set of skills. Mm -hmm. You want to you know, give us a chance to get to know you a little bit. That's important. And then the last one is that uh, in the featured section, mm -hmm. that's a really a chance to showcase the, your, your kind of best of reel. So yes. make sure that you've got either uh, documents you've created, if you've done a presentation, something that you're proud of. Yeah. You know, people really look at that featured section to get to know you better. Yeah, those are great tips, Matt. But in terms of creating content, I feel that these days everyone is creating content. You know, I read this book or I was in this webinar and this is my intake or I, I saw this interview and this is my intake or uh, I'm looking for a job and I, I'm posting my idea. So but still people are feel, you know, kind of intimated on Zoom or they don't know they're shy. What tips do you have? Because we know that recruiters, first thing they will check on you on LinkedIn, you see how active you are. And as you've mentioned before, is your personality shining and what you can bring to the table? What kind of tips do you have for those people? Yeah, I think that it's just as important to engage with other people's content as it is to create your own. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have it in you to create a piece of content that actually educates others or adds value, yeah. and all you're going to do is just mention an article that you read without sharing your own viewpoint about that article, mm -hmm. I would use that energy to engage with someone else's post. So for example, if I wanted to apply for a job at Acme Construction, mm -hmm. I'd want to make sure to understand to follow their feeds, some of their uh, executives yeah. or people who are a little bit more active on LinkedIn and engage with that brand and engage with their, their viewpoint just to become a known commodity and to really share your support for what they're all yeah. about. Yeah. At the same time, if you do have a chance to create content, if you are going to reference something, mm -hmm. then it's not enough to say, hey, here's an article on uh, XYZ topic from Forbes magazine. Well, that's yeah. great. But what did you think about it? Add yeah. to it. Like everybody can go read the article, but what was your take on it? What did you yeah. find surprising? What did you like? Those are those are ways to take and extend something that's already up on the web. Put a little bit of your fingerprints all yeah. over. it. I'd love to see more of that. Yeah, share your, uh, share your ideas. Be a thought leader. I always say that, you know, maybe start small, maybe five comments and 10 likes. And then gradually increase your thoughtness, increase your writing skills. So, because it takes time, not everyone can do that. And we all know that there's a lot of things posting there. Maybe, as you mentioned, follow the companies that you want and target them because recruiters or people will notice that you make comments. And when you're applying, they will kind of make a connection. Oh, this is the person that I'm seeing is connecting with our content. And that will also make increase your chances, right? Definitely. And make a game of it. You know, if you say, I want to make five quality comments a day yeah. on other people's stuff. Great. You can feel great that you spent 15, 20 minutes to yeah. do that and then move on. You know, yeah. I really have been surprised that the LinkedIn algorithms tend to pick up engagement, meaning that you're engaging and commenting thoughtfully mm -hmm. on other people's posts yeah. as much as they do your own uh, original content. One of the things I like to do also is follow hashtags. So yeah. if there's a hashtag that's really important in your, in your industry, let's say artificial intelligence. Yes. Find one or two popular AI type hashtags. Mm -hmm. And when you go in to do your daily, uh, your visits, for example, instead yes. of sorting by top, if you sort it by recent, then mm -hmm. you'll see sort of opportunities to yeah. get in there and mix up the conversation. So that, that can be helpful. 
Those are great tips, Matt. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of using LinkedIn to the maximum, please leave comments below. Like and share this video. Give us your thoughts and tune in tomorrow for another question with Matt.